Hey guys, it's Amaya. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a much needed bedroom transformation. Like I'm talking, this room gonna transform for real. Intensely, extremely. What's another uh, intense, extreme, in, all right, well, anyways, my room, if you've seen a few of my past vlogs, I think even in one of my first vlogs, I explained my mattress is literally on the floor because of a mishap with Wayfair. But I just went to a furniture store, I found a bedroom set, and that's where we're starting. We're starting with a bedroom set. I got a new mattress, I got a box spring, I got side table, chest. That gets here tomorrow. So I'll show you before of how my room looks right now. I'm gonna take you with me through the process of kind of forming everything together. I have a desk already in that room from my old set. So I'm gonna work with what I have for some of the things. And later on down the line, I'm gonna do like a desk makeover type of video. So that's what today's video is gonna be. Real quick before we go even further into the video, I post mainly vlogs. I've done some skincare stuff. Coming up, I have more skincare, mainly focusing on healing acne scars. Also, birthday prep videos. I'm also planning on doing a lot of fall Halloween related stuff, maybe even vlogmas. So if you wanna see any of those videos after watching this and you're like, yo, she kinda cool, I might have to subscribe. That's what's coming up. So I'm just giving you a little heads up. Subscribe if you'd like to see that. And I hope you stick around for the full video. Right now, I'm in a shopping center. I went to Ikea earlier. I have a few clips if you wanna see that real quick. Earlier today, I went to Ikea. Right now, I'm getting ready to head into Marshalls and Home Goods. I'm gonna try to refrain from touching any of the fall and Halloween stuff because October and December, those are the best months of the year. There's no debate. Christmas is the best holiday. If you don't celebrate Christmas, that's you. Halloween is the second best holiday. Like Christmas lights and little pumpkins, you can't get better than that. And Thanksgiving can kick rocks because it don't matter. And it's a trash holiday. So, I mean, yeah, we could eat, but I mean, we could do that any weekend. Anyways, um, got off track there, but let me go ahead and get into, should I go with Target first? No, because Marshall's line is always long, and so if I don't go now, I feel like the one thing that can convince me that we're in a simulation is the fact that if someone told me at 9 a.m. or whatever time Marshall's open, 30 people spawned into the line at like at 9 a.m. on the dot, I would believe that. I would totally believe that. That's the one thing that could convince me that we got NPCs on this earth, because why is Marshall's line always long? It's always wrapped around the back. I don't get it. Let me head in here and I'll see y'all when I get to the house. It's been real, damn. <laughs> Actually, we need to get out. Bathroom is done. Everything else, I don't want to even touch until the bed is in. Hopefully within the next 30 to 45 minutes, they'll get here. 
10 hours later. Got the foundations. And then staying there still. So now we build. They're little moons, dude. All that once is like kind of yuck, but up close. This little case matching protector. Bro, bro is like going through it a little bit. Sheets. Check the thread count.
Okay, I know what to do. Cut it. It's not gonna work. I need to attach this so that I can move it. It's impossible to move in one piece. Woo! I'm a professional procrastinator. I must be the number one procrastinator in the universe. I started to make some progress. I moved the mattress and the box spring out. I detached my headboard from the bed and cleared off my entire desk so that I can move the desk. And then imagine I don't like it. I just did all this for nothing and I gotta move it back. <laughs> At that point, it's like, who cares if you don't like it? Just leave it. But I just ate. I had to go pick the food and I just ate. So... I'm gonna throw on some tunes and just knock it out for real. The headboard is a billion pounds, okay? I had to big body, big back move the stuff out into the hallway and now I gotta big body move everything around on my own and then big body move everything back in. I'm not big body yet. I haven't been going to the gym, but I'm gonna be there soon. She looks like her friends like SWV Took the weave out and left it short I just realized I didn't even start painting It's 6.30, I need to do that now We can chill with everyone I need some more in the way Your girl, the taste for thug is tough She gets off it Well, I'm plugging to the beach Baby, turn me if you can All these years never said I did Knowing me is probably not Okay, so I have a side table that's on back order, I guess. I think right now I'm gonna try to cancel this because for one, I just I know it's gonna be bulky and heavy and thick, and and I don't want it anymore. Cause I'd rather get one like I don't know like a different like ah I don't know. I'm getting an online agent. The lady submitted a cancellation request for me. I was already having doubts on being too mashy, especially with my desk already being white. Like, even if it wasn't white, I don't think I would want like a set. I don't know what I was thinking. We got this move to the right direction. Let me do another coat on top of that while the air is blasting on it. Let's just safely move this, please, dude. <laughs> Lift with your knees.
tell, right? Like, that's the way duller, way brighter, you know? It's been about a week since the last clip I did, rearranging my room around. I like it so much better this way. I realized after the first return to Marshalls, I guess this video would be me taking you through the trial and error aspect of all of it. So that's what we're doing right now. I ordered these things from Amazon about a week ago. So right now my bed is barren and dry, one lonely little pillow. And that headboard is so big that I just, I need to have some nice pillows. So I ordered some from Amazon. And before I ordered from Amazon, I was in every single Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. I was everywhere looking for some pillows at home, Target. But anyways, let's cut the chatter. Let's get into opening this up. I put a towel down on my bed so that the nasty, dirty package juice won't touch my bed. Okay. The main problem, if something doesn't work out, it's gonna be the pillow covers, not the pillows. Oh yeah, ew, why is the box like that? Y'all, be serious. If this don't work, you're smooth going back. This is a little cloud LED wall decoration. I feel like what's been taking me so long, like why I've been dragging my feet, is because I really didn't know what direction I wanted to go into. But I'm finally starting to like get an idea of how I want it all to look like. Oh my god, there's so many pillows. <laughs> yeah, the only thing that wouldn't work is the pillow covers, I think. I'm hoping everything works because I really want to wrap this up. Like I want my room to be done. Let's go ahead and cut them all in. Actually really happy with how that looks I definitely did want to stay tan cream I don't have the creative capacity to like make it look cool and funky with the color I just can't I'm gonna bring in the color elsewhere but yeah for the most part I wanted to keep it like cream brown green with it with the plants and then eventually as fall comes like orange more browns stuff like that okay that's one step down that we've been waiting on Okay, uh, slight change of plans. I think the last thing I said yesterday was uh, I was gonna figure out the shelving, put it up, and hit y'all back. 
Um, long story short, I built the laptop riser and realized maybe I don't want this much white over here. And also the whites kind of don't match. It's not terrible. Listen, it's not terrible. As I realized that I maybe don't want to use that much white in this area, I hit up my good pal Amazon and they got me right in 24 hours. Well, hopefully. I haven't opened it yet. The first option we have is this without a lot of this. A lot of this is going to go on the wall like that, that, that. I don't know, that's probably not gonna stay but okay so it's the white on white is a little crooked I feel like hold on the white you can't tell but that's a little bit more bright white than the desk throw me up a little bit but it's fine and then picture shelf shelf so that's the first option okay <laughs> yay now here's the second option I feel like it's not bad but I don't know at the same time I don't know but you also have to keep in mind how it'll look with the shelves like maybe it'll be more balanced having that middle ground i don't know let me put all the accessories on and we'll see it like that too jeez that's how it mainly would look i think we know what the obvious choice is um i'm keeping it was that a waste of time no, because if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I would have been like worried about it. Like, did I get the right thing until I saw it? Even though this was really cute, I think the matte brings in the tan balance that I need for this area. But with just white, 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 like it's a little too much. But I think the matte is what I needed. All right, now let me just get into this shelving. I think it's just what, two screws and that's it? That's easy. Where's the screws at? I gotta buy my own screws, bro. What the F, dude? I hate how they don't use words either. Like, bro, I don't wanna decipher this picture. Just give me instructions. All right, let me go get screws and a leveler. Y'all really couldn't put two screws in the pack though? That's insane to me. I'm gonna go find these screws. I'll be right back. Okay, I found four loose screws, a leveler. <laughs> See how this goes, bro. Y'all know what they call me, right? They've been calling me Handy Manny, little cousin. So just know I know what I'm doing, okay? Don't play with me. Let me do the second one lower. Oh my gosh, okay. We officially have made it to the conclusion of this video. I do wanna say I'm so excited with how my room turned out. I love it so much. It's somehow not what I expected it was gonna be, but exactly what I want it to be. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get to the review. Like, see what I did, be proud of me.
first walk in, you come this way, and I have my chest dresser thing, whatever you want to call it. It's actually pretty tall, but I'm tall, so it works out. I just have subtle decoration up top. This was a gift from my sister, and then these are candles. This is unscented. Marshall's Bath and Body Works. This was a gift too. A little orange theme going on right there. Over here, I decided to switch out my three-tier. I don't even know what they're called. It's like a little three-tier cubby thing. It was two separate ones, but they didn't really look good at all. So I got this from Target for like $35. And then I just have a little cute decoration in I plan to switch this out with obviously Christmas stuff coming up and then after that, I don't know if I'll put that back or if I'll do something different. And then I carved this pumpkin for Halloween. <laughs> Decided to put it in here. Down here, I just have books that I still haven't finished. The only one I'm actively reading every day is the like little morning devotional things. And then all of these on the wall, I didn't know I was gonna do this specifically right here. I thought I was just gonna put a few of them on my other wall. I might even expand it to come over higher right now they're pretty much favorite movies or shows and obviously it's a mix between albums and songs too so we got zane we got way to earth we got d2 igor take care you know you see it moving on from the first wall when you walk in dresser other storage my closet is right here which will not be opened this is a project in its own. Moving on to right here, I have my trash can. I normally prop my purse up on it. I plan to put a hook either right here or right here just so I can not have it on my trash can. And then my fan and then all my wall posters. I found every single one of these posters off of Pinterest. And also all those are off of Pinterest too. We have the moon phases, live in the moment with some more text, life goes on, the best is yet to come. I really like this solar system. I thought it was cute. I think it's like a really pretty design the way they did that. We got some BTS posters, life goes on again. And then we have dream. Never let it be said that to dream is a waste of one's time for dreams are our reality in waiting. In dreams we plant the seed of our future. And then I have my little cloud LED light that y'all saw me open up earlier if you didn't skip past it. The movie going over here, I have a few of those receipt album art things. D2 is my favorite album from August D. I mean, you can tell I got it up here twice. I also have D-Day up here too. And then I have Zane. Mind of Mind, his album Receipt, and then Map of the Soul 7. I have my LED clock from Amazon. I guess they sell this a lot of places. I think I got the best one though. I originally had the cool white color and decided it stuck out too much. Like I like the warm tone, I guess. And the cool white was just throwing me off. So I took that one back. I always dim it at night so that I can look up and see what time it is, but it's not like too bright when I'm looking at it. I put these up. I think the little aura lights are pretty. Eight is my favorite number, but it's mainly about the message that's along with the poster. Something I think is important for me to see every day. So one is everything is falling into place as it's meant to be. And the other one is you are in the right place in the right time. So they kind of go hand in hand. And then also we have some more song art. I was honestly really worried about how I was gonna put all these together because I just got pictures that I liked. It actually turned out the best because they all kind of flow together in their own respective clusters. This one's not the most on theme. I had it originally with just three of them, but I really wanted to put that up on the wall. So it's kind of funky a little bit, but I really like it a lot. It brings personality to my room and it's all my personal interests. Up here, I have my two shelves from Ikea. I got this from Target. So I got this from Target, this was like a dollar. And then I have my Way to Earth album that I got from the concert last month, so cute. I have my candles from Marshalls or Home Goods. I have it propped up on a candle lid just to give it some dimension to this one. This is an unscented candle from Target. I don't like them a lot because I'm scared to have it so close to the wall, but when I'm ready to light it, I can have a couple of candles without it being like fumed up in here like Hollister had it. Then I have my glasses right here. I think the black and gold just kind of flowed, so I really like having it up here. And then this plant is from Ikea. And then my desk, my iPad, and my iPad stand from Ikea. Other candle from Home Goods, And I found this cute little bear-shaped Apple Watch holder. So normally I'd be wearing it right now, but just to show you the purpose of it, I put it onto this. But it's cute, it's brown, it matches my theme that I got with my mat. Next to that I have my monitor razor from Amazon. On top of that I have another angled razor so that I'm not looking down still. Like I need it to still be angled up. I got this mat from Amazon. And then I have these little cloud wrist cushions. 
so worth it. I used to get wrist pain really bad, which is why I got this too. I wanted to have this set up to where I'm not slouched down looking at my laptop. And if this is up here, I'm not gonna be able to like comfortably use the mouse to edit. Because if you know Final Cut Pro or if you have a MacBook, you kind of need like to have the same ability to do whatever the techniques are to work Final Cut Pro seamlessly, I guess. I used to steal the one from my dad and it's just easier being able to comfortably look up in the right posture but also protect my wrists from like i don't know hand pain wrist pain that sucks when you have wrist pain but yeah everything right here this 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 is an apple magic trackpad but i got it off of amazon too because amazon has everything <laughs> but moving on from that i have my sono speaker one of the best speakers out there. I've had that for years. I have my Nintendo Switch, and then I have a little thing full of perfumes. And then I just have some little crystals down there that I got. Some of them are old, and I think someone gave them to me, but some of them I've purchased. Like this little cute little heart. Then I have my guitar propped up in the corner. It used to be on the wall. I have this. I still don't know if I'm gonna put it up or not, but it's supposed to be like a wall hanging pot holder so this is everything how it looks i'm super happy with how it turned out i was able to use the desk i've had for years besides like the scratches and subtle like dings that it's kind of got hit with over the years it's too good of a desk to just get rid of but yeah that's my cute little desk setup i actually love it so much like i love coming into my room and just that's the first thing you walk into and see i can just walk to my desk okay so you come from the desk in this wall over here is my windows down the line i'll probably add curtains i'm just not pressed to do it right now over here i have my little pegboard because my desk used to be on this wall in this corner and i don't necessarily mind the fact that it's right here i kind of like having all the cords and things i need i leave my extension cord clipped to it so i can just reach over and grab my phone charger i kind of have this book over here for decoration but the plan is to read it during you know this month and then i just have my candles my camera usually sits right here moving on from that corner to my bed my bed is from um, Ashley furniture Then I have my pillows everything on this bed pillow wise is from Amazon this is part of the current fall decor I got going on I'm planning to decorate for Christmas as soon as November 1st hits so I'm enjoying it while it's here it's pretty I like the pumpkins it was a good price at Target and it's soft but I'm kind of just using it to give my room the fall vibe and I have my LED lights on the back and then I have my dog's bed under here he doesn't sleep with me all the time, but I got it cream to match everything else. And when he does sleep in here, he kind of just sleeps under the bed anyways. Oh, he's there. Hi, buddy. <laughs> and then under my bed, it's pretty clean. I have a storage box full of stuff that I don't need them every day, but I don't want to throw them away either. And then I haven't opened that up yet. Those are actually drawer organizers. And over there, I just have a lockbox. I keep my journal in there and my SD cards in there because I don't know. I just like to keep my stuff under lock and key sometimes. You never know who's going to try to read your thoughts. Uh, and then I have my mirror from Marshalls or Home Goods. This is new too. I got this right after I ordered my bed. It's really big. I don't want to get in the camera because I look crusty. And then from the mirror over, we're back at my door. But yeah, that's everything. Next project, you're coming up, bro. I'm gonna shut you down for real, but we'll think about that later. All right, that is gonna be it for this video. This is officially the longest video on my channel and the audacity to make it more than 30 minutes long but have an attention span that's in shambles myself is insane. Now that I'm officially finished with this, I can finally move into other content I've been planning. I think I mentioned I wanted to do vlogmas. I'm still trying to work myself up to do it. I don't know, are there versions of it 25 videos consecutively? That's a lot. That's a lot. But even if I fail, I think it'll be a cool attempt. But yeah, I'm super close to fully committing to the idea of Vlogmas. So if you want to see something specific, feel free to leave a comment. I'll think about it. If it aligns with what I like to post, then I may just do it. We'll see. If you want to watch a recent video I posted, I just unboxed my iPhone 15. I don't even know what to say anymore because I feel like I've been working on this video for so long that it feels wrong to end it. It's taking up 200 gigabytes of storage in Final Cut Pro. I need to get rid of it. I need to get that off my computer. <laughs> If you went this far, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more from me, I'll put my favorite video right now that I've done up top. So you can check that out if you want to. And if you want to subscribe, I do appreciate any support you 
provide my channel with. If you want to follow me on Instagram, that's linked. If you want to know where any of these things I got are from, just let me know in the comments and I can post the link down there. That's going to be it. I'll see y'all in the next one.